in this in this video I want to talk about how to divide by uh, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So let's take a simple example. Say how to divide 148 by 4. So there are different ways of dividing. Uh, when I'm when I want to divide 148 by 4, I'm going to count in 40s. So first I'm going to show you how to count in 40s. So what do I mean by counting 40s? Well, if you count in 40s, you've got 40, uh, 80, 120, 160, and so on. So this will go on. I'm counting in 40s. So 160 is too much. I say it's 120. I'm going to write this same thing. When I'm counting in 40s, I can say 148 is same as 120 plus something. So 120 plus 28 divided by 4. So it's very difficult to divide 148 by 4, but well, I can divide this as splitting this 148 as 120 plus 28. So I know 12 divided by 4. What is 12 divided by 4? Well, that is 3. So I'm just using my previous knowledge. So this means 120 divided by 4 would be what? Would be 30. And then you should know 28 divided by 4. So I don't know 28 divided by 4. I can know 4 times what gives me 28. That is, well, 4 times 7 is 28. So this means... 128 divided by 4 is 37. So the answer is 37. Okay, so let's take, uh, uh, say, 200, 246, 246 divided by 6. Okay, so I'm going to count in 60s. So if you count in 60s, so 60, 6 plus 6 is 12, so it's 120. Again, adding 60, this is 180, and this is 240. The next is, of course, adding 60 is 300. So 300 is too much. So I'm only counting up to 240. So this is same as asking what is 240 plus 6 divided by 6. So let me change color. So this is 240 divided by 6. I want you to do this yourself if you can and 6 divided by 6. So well you may not know how to do 240 divided by 6 but do you know what is 24 divided by 6? Well I know 6 times what is 24? 6 times 4 is 24. So if you know this fact you can write this quite easily. You just put a plug in a zero there. So it's 40 and 6 divided by 6 is 1. So the answer is 41. Okay, so let me say take a number, say 185 divided by 5. So I should count in 50s. So let me count in 50s. So well, this is 50. Then you've got a 100. Then you got 150, and then you got 200. Now 200 is too much. So this I'm going to write as, so this is same as asking, what is 150 plus something divided by 5? Okay, 130 plus what is 185? So well, that is 35. So I'm going to split this as 150 divided by 5 and then 35 divided by 5. So when you're dividing 150 by 5, you're just looking at 115. What is 15 divided by 5? Well, that is 3, because 5 times 3 is 15, and then you put in a 0. And 5 times what is 70, 35? 5 times 7. So my answer is 37. So you can say 185 divided by 5 is 37. Okay, so let me take a number with 4. Say what is 168. 
68 divided by 4. How can you do this? I'm going to count in 40s. So I hope you know this is 40, 80, 120 and 160. So it's a good habit to write. Those who are struggling, 40, 80, 120. You just need to know the times table of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16 and then 24 and then I put a 0. So this is too big. So how can you write this? So this is same as asking what is 160 plus 8 divided by 4. So this is 160 divided by 4. Let's try to do this yourself. Then you go 8 divided by 4. So only look at 16 and 4. So answer this question. What is 16 divided by 4? So here you're asking the question 4 times what is 16? 4 times 4 is 16. So this has to be 40 and 4 times 2 is 8. So your answer is 42. The answer is 42. Okay, let me take, say, one more number. Say, let's take 205. Uh, say, let me take a, say, 130. 2 divided by 3. How will you divide by 3? So I'm going to count in 30s. So this is 30, 60, 90, 120. And then you got 150. So 150 is too big. So I'm going to write this as 120 plus 12, which is 132 divided by 3. So 120 divided by 3, I think now you can do it faster, which is 40. And then you can go 12 divided by 3, which is 4. So your answer is 40 plus 4, which is 44. So you can use this strategy to do any division when you have a whole number. Suppose let me make up a big number. Uh, so you can use this strategy. strategy to do any big number. So let's do 360 divided by 8. 360 divided by 8. So I'm going to do it faster now. I'm going to think in 80s. So well, 80, 160, 240, 320. So this is 320 plus 40 divided by 8. So this is 320 divided by 8. So now I'm only looking at 32 and 8. So 8 times what is 32? So it's 4 and put a 0. And then you got 40 divided by 8, which is 5. So the final answer is 45.